30 minutes to play one game. And nowadays these kids have these phones that just run so fast, Wi-Fi, 4G and all that, and they're often able to have inter internet access at all times. And most of the time it's very unsupervised. There's only so much that you can do on a cell phone or even at home. And uh, basically I say, I think having the world at your fingertips isn't always a good thing, and you can get a lot of addictive behaviors from it. Um, there's 53% of 11 to 16 year olds have internet access in their own bedroom alone. So, you know, when you close the doors, you're closed away from the world and you can easily clear your browser history and no one knows exactly what's going on. And these numbers are actually kind of scary because uh, 56 of 56% 56 of that 53% were actually unsupervised. 29% of 8 to 11 year olds were unsupervised. 12% of 5, five to 7 year olds were also unsupervised. And when it comes to kids, curiosity is unbelievable. And when it comes to these type of pornographic websites, I mean, a box jumps up and it says, you must be 21 or you must be 18. And no one's watching. Are they going to say no? Most of the time they're going to say yes, and they're going to see, you know, because the kids want to know what's going on. And even when you say no, other windows pop up. It takes you into another place. It's like, it's almost like, a, how do you say it? It's just a, like windows just start popping up to these kids. And they, I mean, so many questions saying no, no, no. More, more often than not, they're going to say yes, and they're actually going to go to this website and they're going to lose their innocence because they're going to be seeing certain things that they're not prepared to see and they shouldn't be seeing, to be honest with you. And uh, one in eight children between the age of 9 and 19 at some stage have seen a porn site with violent elements. And I mean, in a classroom full of kids, there could be 20. At least three of those kids have been exposed to this type of information, been exposed to this type of website. And just the thought of that is ridiculous to me. Not only because they shouldn't be seeing that type of things, it just changes their whole mentality on the way they view women, the way they view little girls, the way they view the world. And uh, I mean, 5% of them looked at it every day, which forms an addictive behavior. And uh, a quarter of all girls aged between 13 and 17 suffer sexual violence from a boyfriend. I mean, that's one out of every four girls. I mean, that's a huge, huge number. And, I mean, who knows? The boyfriend that was doing this could have been exposed to this type of material at an early age. And what they see is what they mimic because that's basically what they learn. They learn from what they're watching. And, uh, a third of girls encountered an unwanted sexual touching at school, which I mean they don't know what to do because most of the time it's they've been exposed, girls have been exposed to it as well, and they see it on TV, therefore they think it's okay, and they just go along with whatever's going on. And uh, there are uh, long-term effects to this type of uh, exposure, and no matter how much you try to protect them, as far as putting you know adult restrictions onto their uh, onto their internet, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that, like, I mean, just last night I was going through my Instagram pictures, and I'm not following anything that's sort of that type of material, but I went to the people who I'm following, and I seen the pictures that they like, and I just explored it last night, and I seen quite a bit of inappropriate stuff on Instagram that doesn't get reported, and once it does get reported, it takes them a while for them to take it off, because they have to get a certain amount of reports. So your child could be following somebody that you don't even know what they're liking. Your child might not be following anything of that nature, but someone that they're following. Then they go there, and then they see this, and they see that. It's just a terrible triple effect, and there's really no way of protecting them in that type of environment situation. Because you think it's Facebook, you think it's Instagram, it's nothing big. But there's just a lot of material out there that they shouldn't be watching. And as they get older, I mean, their effects as you get, as you grow, and actually the consumer for porn, people think women aren't really that into porn, but, I mean, the latest I could find for studies was uh, from 1992, and this was a while back, and 
40 percent of females in the United States were actually consumers of porn, which is kind of surprising to me because I thought it wasn't anything that really women were into. And uh, it affects grown folks. Like if you're a grown person and it's affecting the way you feel about yourself, the way you view yourself, the way you view your body, the way you view other people. Imagine what it's doing to these children. Imagine what it's doing to their mentality upon themselves. It's already bad enough that we live in a, they live in a generation of bullying. Bullying is terrible. And for them to start bullying on themselves because of the way they're shaped, the way they grow up, it's just something that they shouldn't be prepared for. And uh, a lot of times, like, it ruins relationships. If it ruins relationships with grown men, imagine what it's doing to the relationships with these children, boyfriend, girlfriend. They think they see that, therefore they want to act it out. They want to be a part of it. Um, and for young men, it just puts an image in their mind of a perfect woman. When it's not really that, they just objectify women and use their body to get more consumers and get kids. The, the main market is young kids. Once they get young kids addicted, they just start buying they start paying, they start getting all kinds of, uh, of uh, I say, subscriptions to websites. And it's so easy, all it takes is three clicks of a yes, and you have a subscription. And, I mean, there's really no identification, there's no ID. Like it used to be back in the day, you had to. I remember, <clears throat> I remember going to the gas station, all the magazines were covered up when we were little. All you could see was the faces. Of course, he would try to move this, <laughs> the little things to the side, try to get the sink peek, and it wouldn't happen. Nowadays, they have a little square in their pocket, and they can see anything that they want. So, there's uh, other effects with the roles. The men are like the young men believe that they are supposed to be dominant because that's what they're seeing, and the young women see. Submission. They just submit. Therefore, they don't know what's going on. They just, they're like I said before, they're mimicking exactly what they see and what they've been exposed to, and they believe that that's what it's supposed to be like. And that's when it comes, like women, if women feel pressured to be an unwanted sexual act, it's twice as bad for children, for kids. Like I said, one in four have been touched inappropriately, which is huge. And it's just what, they're, what, they, what they've been exposed to and what they watch. And uh, basically, sometimes uh, having any and all information isn't always good. I mean, it promotes not only for this type of situation for people to objectify bodies and situations like that, laziness. I remember back in the day when we would travel, we had a huge map and we would be traveling out our, uh, our routes and all that. And you know, you would have to actually do research with the encyclopedias and go to the library. Nowadays, you Google it and you'll find every single answer that you need. Mm -hmm. And it also opens an, un an unsupervised door to content that isn't appropriate for all ages. So I just want to say be active with your children, nieces, nephews, or any other youth that's in your life. Supervise and oversee their, so their innocence is preserved and they don't see anything too soon in their life because it can be snatched at a very early age. And pay attention and be active. Too much privacy isn't always a good thing. Protect them as long as you can and just regulate as many rules as possible and take care of your kids.